Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I just copied Jeffree Star. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, um, this is what we're doing today. It's this look. It's really fun. It's meant for like photo shoots and just like a fun time. It photographs really well because it gives you that elongated eye right there. It gives you that contrast between your lid, your lid and your crease. Reverse to that. Um, but yeah, so if you're really interested in something like this, like learning how to do a crazy exaggerated wing and making it work, stick around. If you're looking at my face, you can see that I have, um, my face makeup is like done. Um, I did it super kind of just normal just because I wanted to really have emphasis on my eyes and what's going on in my eyes today. So I just kind of did this off camera really quick. I have lip liner on, but I don't have lipstick and my eyebrows are not done at all. Um, I just, I didn't know what color I wanted to do for lips, so I figured I could do the eyes and then do the brows and on camera and then see what I want to do for the lips. Um, I haven't worn this foundation in such a long time and it's creasing already, like, in the smile lines. Oh, God, that's so funny. If you're wondering what it is, it's the NARS, da, 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 medium four. I know this is like the, oh, all day luminous weightless. Those are the ones, I love luminous weightless foundations, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's creasing a little bit, which is really annoying thought I was done creasing okay so uh, let's just hop right in let's get in to eyebrows so I want my brows to be like model status they're gonna be like total wild brows like not done um, not snatched but naturally snatched so natched okay I regret that already so I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in chocolate. It looks like this. And I'm just going to go in and comb through my brows with it. There are my brows. They're just fluffy, natural brows. Nothing crazy with them. Um, the crazy part is coming up now because we're going to go into... This is where it gets interesting. To start off this look, I'm gonna be using the KKW by Mario um, eyeshadow palette. Just the original one that they came out with first looks like this. I have run this palette into the ground, almost, not yet, but I use it way too often, like every single day. So here we go. I'm gonna go in with the gold color in the top left-hand corner called Glam. Ah! And I'm literally using my finger because I want it to be a thick coat of gold. You can already see it's major pigmentation um, and I'm just gonna put it on the front of my eyeballs like you would put a swatch on see how freaking crazy that pigment is it just gathers it's so soft too I love this palette the reason I'm using my finger is because it puts on a lot more product lot thicker um, and then I don't have to wet my brush which is super nice because I really don't feel like wetting my brush the reason I'm putting it in my crease is because um, we're doing a fun look and there are no rules with fun looks so that's why if you're wondering do I want to add some like eye contour or do I just want to do like a wing that says what's up I'm gonna do a wing that says what's up so basically I have this gold all over my eyes um, with it concentrated in the front of my lids. So now that that's done, time to go in with the liner, which is going to be super, super fun. So I'm going to be using Ico Liquid Eyeliner in Fat. So they have ugh, they have this skinny one and they have this fat one. I'm going to use the fat one because I'm doing a huge wing across my eyeball. And so that just makes sense because the wing is going to be fat. Um, I'm going to take the wing... Oh, fantastic. This is almost out. And I'm going to do like a really rough... Like that. Just so I can get a sense of the shape. I think people get scared of really big wings because they don't really know how to make the shape. But if you just do what I did, you put it um, on the corner where you want the wing and you just honestly let your eyeball guide the pen. Um, then you have your shape, you have your natural shape without you having to be like, Oh my God, is it straight? No, just like guide it across your eyeball let your skin do the work so i want it bigger and better see how that works i literally don't even move my hand i just kind of put the mark 
and then drag it and casually pull down. I'm looking pretty crazy, which is always fun. Um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. Woohoo! Maybe I shouldn't zoom you in. Huh, <laughs> yikes. Bigger, better, blacker. So we have this like fun, really thick wing going on like that. And then I wanna actually do a straight edge. So see how when I go like this, it kind of, when I look straight at the camera right now, or I guess, okay, now I'm looking straight at the camera. You can see how it divots down and back up. I want it to be straight across. So I'm gonna look straight ahead. And I'm just gonna flatten this arch right here into my eyeball. Yeah, see that? So when you come up, it actually has a divot, like goes up a little bit and back down. That's because when you look straight, I want the wing to look straight. So it's gonna have that like weird curve in there, which is fine. Um, honestly, it just makes it look cooler. Okay, and then we got that divot in there, which is how we know we did it right. And then bringing the eyeliner um, across my lid into my crease. Because I'm going to do some fun stuff with it in a second. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to go in with a... I'm going go with this lip liner brush from EcoTools. It looks like this. And I'm just going to spread this black liner. Well, it's still wet, kind of into my eyelid crease and yeah i'm using a lip liner brush what do you have to say about it so if i look down that's what we got going on so far and um now i'm gonna woo this is interessante so now that i kind of have the bases of the liner filled out i'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner this is from lancome and this is the Lay Crayon and Coal in 602 Black Ebony. And I'm gonna line the inside of my waterline. See the difference that I already made? It's crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in again underneath on my bottom waterline. Okay, so now I have waterlined eyeliner all the way 360 degrees. And it's looking pretty cool so far, but we are in no way done. So hold on to your horses. So I want the bottom to meet up with the top. So this is what we're gonna get into right now. We're gonna use one of my trusty favorite brushes is this brush from Prescriptives. It's a flat liner brush. And I'm gonna go in with this black color I have in the Tarte palette. It's May the Starlight Be Your Spotlight Tarte. The Dusty Duty, oh I'm sorry, the Sultry Star Powder. So looks like this. My friend actually got this for me for my birthday when I turned like I think it was like my junior year of high school. She's so sweet. Shout out Annie. I love you. Um, I love this black color in here. It's the top. Ugh. Back here. That black is sickening. So I want this wing. See how I'm just kind of shaping out what I'm going to do? Yeah, that's what I want. So I want it, when I go like this, I want the bottom to connect to the top. So if I just fill this up, pull it up and connect this wing and make it a little bit more pointy. And the reason I do this with an eyeshadow first is you can always work your way around an eyeshadow. You cannot work your way around a liquid eyeliner, but I'm not done. Again, okay, so find the corner and work your way slowly down. If you're nervous, always go in with um, an eyeshadow first. Don't do this shit with an eyeliner. You're gonna freak out. That's for later, okay? That's once we have everything laid out in front of us. Dude, this is so cool. I feel like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egyptian. And now I'm gonna go in with the same flat eyeliner brush and I'm gonna dip into this black hardcore and I'm gonna go over everything that I did in black eyeliner with black shadow to make it even more black. Ooh, this is super cool. Uh, it's time to make these wings serious. So I'm going to go in with the Ico Skinny Liner on top of all of the eyeshadow that I already did. I'm just going to take this skinny one from Ico and design a wing on top of all this eyeshadow. I'm going to give it these hard edges that I really wanted the whole time, but couldn't really do with eyeshadow because eyeshadow is messy. Okay, so I just cleaned up my eyes a little bit just so, you know, 
it wasn't too much, too little, whatever. Now I'm gonna put on mascara. Um, I'm gonna be using the Full Exposure by Smashbox or in C001. And put it on the bottom just a tad. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Nude Kate. I love this. Like I love this lip gloss or lipstick. So nude, so pretty. Should I take this off? I think I should. Let's take off my, oh, I forgot to say, that made me feel like, um, bootstrap from Pirates of the Caribbean. Did I not look like bootstrap Bill? Dang, this looks a lot better without that thing in my hair. Sorry, guys. We're snatching. Okay, and then not the scrunchie because that doesn't match my vibe. Oh, my God, the scrunchie's stuck. All right, well, scrunchie's going in there with it. It's the weirdest ponytail I've ever, look, check me out. The scrunchie's not in the ponytail, but it's in the ponytail, if that makes sense. Okay, once the hair goes up, this shit's for real. I'm, just, I'm so sorry for ruining all your eye straps with my ugly ass bootstrap bill outfit. Bootstrap bill. Next. I'm going to go in and bronze my cheeks a little bit more with the Lancome in Summer Mocha Havana. It's this color right here. It's so and I'm just going to take my MAC 116, looks like this, and put it where my cheekbones are. But on the sides, just right here to give me some color because I'm all one color right now. Okay. I feel like I need to put my hair behind and tighten this weird ponytail. Okay. I would put on false lashes, but I really don't want to. And I don't think you really need them with this look, to be 100% honest with you. So we're not going to put on false lashes. Um, this is the look, though. So, you know, some of you are probably like, what would you wear this to? This is like an editorial fun look. It's more so for magazines and for, like, photo shoots. Let me give you an example. See that? You see how it elongates that like that? And you, you just have to pose like this. This might be the header. This this might this is not the clip bait. I don't know what the clip bait is, but it must have been better than this. Oh, this is like a really, really cool look. If you're just trying to take some fun pictures of yourself, of makeup, if you're like shooting something for someone, it's really fun just to have your eye along it like that. And then you're ready to be photoshopped. Hope you guys enjoyed this fun look. Um and subscribe and like it, because this is YouTube and that's what we're here for. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up? Welcome back to it. Rush job. Have a good one, you guys.